Oh my god, today is a good day to hate. Have you ever hated so much and so many things that you needed to just take a shower to scrub away all the bad feelings so that you can have new, different feelings of hate? That was my morning. Anyway, welcome to this verse that. The only thing on the internet where we... Last week on this verse that we took a look at what was worse, being an outcast versus being a popular person. Go watch it. This week on this verse that we're going to take a look at what's worse, being on a road trip with your significant other's family versus your own family on a road trip. And, oh dear god, being in a small metal box with that many people, they might as well be jail. And I've been on the internet long enough to have seen some things to know that when you're in jail there's only two things that are going to happen. Something sexy or something violent. I don't think I'd ever want to be confined in a box with anybody's parents. Unless they're, they're cool parents. I don't know what that means. I just saw somebody on the internet do it. Seemed like a cool thing to do. When I go on road trips, I like to sleep because it makes the whole thing go a lot faster when you don't have to experience any of it. I don't know about you, but whenever I fall asleep in the car, I usually fall asleep with my mouth open because I'm sitting up. And I don't want to wake up to find another family trying to put something weird in my mouth. I never really went on a road trip with a family because my family kind of understood that I'd probably have a better time just sitting on the internet all day. So, because I've never really been on a family road trip, I had to ask you guys what was worse. And we're gonna take a look, and then hope to God that nobody in your family sees what you had to say. A road trip with my significant other's family would be worse, because it would just be me alone. It sounds like you're single, and ready to mingle. In a car. With a family. Family mingle. Get your mingle on. Your significant other's family because the whole time will just be a struggle to try and hold in your farts. The only way to make that even worse would be to be sitting in the middle seat in the back. Cause then you can't do the one cheek sneak in either direction. Family would be worse because at least the significant other's family would hold in their farts instead of turning the car into the ultimate hot box. Everyone except for the grandfather who's constantly fighting the war on farts. It's a, it's a war that only he knows about and it's fought with farts. My girlfriend's family, because they're Mormon, and I'm redneck as hell. That sounds like it would be a really shitty TV show. Ah, the redneck and the Mormon. Oh, they're so much mismatched, but they're so alike. Oh, will they ever get along? We'll see. No, we won't. Road tripping with your boyfriend slash girlfriend's family would be worse, because you don't know what they're gonna be like when it's time to party. Ugh. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, what the fuck do you do in a car with a family? Significant other's family would be worse because sometimes they don't like you. So they're gonna find subtle ways to passive aggressively expose their hatred through small talk. And maybe they'll subtly show you how much they don't like you by subtly kicking you out of the fucking moving vehicle. Your significant other's family would be worse because you gotta act natural when something smells funny. This whole thing is very contingent on how much you have to fart. Your significant other's family would be worse because at least you can tell your own family to shut the fuck up without feeling like a crusty douche. Ah, yes. Good old fashioned family fun always starts when you yell shut the fuck up. Your family would be worse because it's less sad when it's somebody else's family dying in a tragic car accident and you manage to survive. You can't say that on the internet because now everybody knows your plans. Road trips with your family is worse because at least when it's a significant other's family, you can get rid of them and there's no witnesses. I'm, I'm gonna call 911 on your ass. Being with your family is worse, because when you're with your significant other's family, you can learn their weaknesses, and then plot their death when you reach your destination. Fuck. I didn't realize my target demographic on the internet was murderers. With your family is worse, because siblings, bad music, it's like pouring kerosene on a house fire. I know what you mean, because my mom recently discovered what country music is, and it's a big, racist, practical joke on the rest of the world. That's exactly what it is. It's a big, incesty, racist, weird, car-fucking, practical joke. Your significant other's family would be worse because they cock-block What the fuck are you doing in a car with a family in the car as well? What are you... Where, how do you expect to do that? Being on a road trip with your significant other's family would be worse because you can't poop without being paranoid that somebody will smell it. Why are you pooping in the car? You're all a bunch of diaper-wearing, murdering sex ninjas. What the fuck is going on? Your own family is worse because they might take you back to the psych ward instead of a beach vacation. Parents are always so embarrassing. Families, families are good for two things. 
making you and making you embarrassed. And how embarrassing would it be to have to go back to the psych ward? Going with your family is worse because when you're with any significant other's family, you're, you're a guest. You can get away with more because you're a guest. I can't even count the number of times I've been just breezed over for starting a car fire because I'm a guest. I can't answer because I've never been on a road trip with anybody other than my father and we deserve his family is awesome. Except Daniel, the ass. This first that, breaking up families and making Daniel feel bad since right this very second. Traveling with your own family is worse because they expect you to help. Yeah, oh, there's nothing more relaxing than watching your significant other's grandmother struggle to lift a case of beer into the back of her car. Oh my god, I just, just love watching people struggle. You... You had me at the stuff about farting. I don't want to be in any situation where I can't fart freely as much as I need to. So, in this case, being on a road trip with your significant other's family is far worse. Do you agree or disagree? Leave a comment below, let me know what you think. It's not going to change my mind, but it might change somebody else's. Leave a comment on this video if you've got something you want us to debate on the next This vs. That. And if you want to get your say in, check me out on Facebook and Twitter because that's where I ask every Wednesday. <laughs> And other than that, I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Joe, you shed way too much. So, due to popular demand uh, for my Cat's Caffeine and Chaos sweatshirt, we've decided to bring it back as an actual t-shirt. Uh, if you go to districtlines.com slash mattg124, you can pick yours up now. It'll be a permanent thing, so you can just get it whenever. But, to those of you who actually went out and bought the sweater, I want to thank you a ton, because it was a huge success, and that's the reason why I'm bringing it back. And I hope you guys get your sweater soon, and congratulations, because there's only like 40 of you who actually have one. So that'll be a fun little thing just for you. And I'll see you guys later.